Hi there, I'm Mike Coe, and I'm addressing your open interest. If you have a question or a comment that you would like me to address, please tweet me at Michael underscore Co, and I'll try to answer your questions as well. So we have a question here from Dr. Kent Daniels. Hi all, long-term bullish on Ford. I bought July 2nd weekly, 1214 called debit spreads last week, and Ford is now well above the short strike. Should I take assignment of the stock and write covered calls against it or roll it up and out? Okay, so Kent, this is a, uh, an important question. And I, I think one of the things we wanna take a look at is first of all, when you have options positions at expiration, all in the money options will be exercised. Uh, generally, that's gonna happen automatically. So in this particular case, Ford was trading around $15, I think, at the time you wrote this. So both the 12 and the 14 strike calls were in the money. Now you are long the 12s and you're short the 14s, but both would be exercised uh, at expiration. So the important thing for you to do here is actually calculate your net in the money uh, option position. So if I'm long one call that's in the money and I am short, another call that's in the money, both expiring on the same day. On that expiration day, I should assume that both will be exercised because one long plus one short is flat. What you're actually gonna end up having is a situation where you are not actually going to take delivery of the stock at expiration. And the reason for that is that if you had just been long that call, you would have actually taken delivery of the stock because the call would be exercised had you just been short the other call, that call would have been exercised and you being short it would have been assigned, thus you would have been short stock. With both of those netted together, you end up with no position after expiration. So I think that's an important thing to think about. Uh, certainly owning the stock and selling calls against it is a strategy uh, that I like in many cases. In Ford's case, I think the stock is, is fairly undervalued uh, as I happen to be speaking to you now. Of course, those circumstances can change but the important thing to think about is as expiration approaches, what is your net in the money options position? And you can think about this both in terms of calls and puts. I hope that helps you. If you have a question, please tweet me at Michael underscore co, and I will try to answer your questions as well. And please remember, tune in to Options Action uh, every Friday night at 530. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. If you liked the content, please consider subscribing to the Open Interest YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash open interest. And of course, you can also follow or tweet me at Michael underscore co or go to our website, www.openinterest.pro. Thanks for watching.